get started right now on how to start your brand new Dynaflex Gyro. You know, out of all of Dynaflex products, this one is my favorite because there's so many great versatile exercises you can do with this amazing gyro tool. But first, let's get into how to start it. And if you want to have arms like the Muscle Man of Technology, then you better listen to my instructions and tips on how to get gyro started. What I want you to do is focus in right now on that white rotor. This white rotor here has a ribbed grooved edge that runs from front to back right in the center of the actual rotor. This is going to be your guide to how to start it reliably because what you're going to do is simply take your thumb and you're going to press a good amount of pressure from front to back kind of like this, like a good little flick. Now, it's very important to follow the groove and keep it right on the center because if you don't, you'll slide off and you will not have enough power to generate and get the gyro started. It only requires about 3,000 RPMs, but guess what? That's nothing because the Tour Grip Gyro will easily do 9 to 13,000 RPMs. Now, watch how simple. I just take my thumb and a good flick and that's all it takes. Now, I want to pay particular attention to my hand motion right now because it's a simple back and forth motion. I'm not jerking my arm. It's just smooth. It's soft. You don't need to use a lot of power. Just almost close your eyes and feel it run around the circumference of the plastic sphere. Now, all I do is once it's up to speed is I simply take my hand and I put it right on the black handle and I do the gentle left to right. Now remember, I'm showing it to you with the rotor up to really explicitly show you how, but you can also do it down, and I'm going to show you all the great exercises you can also do with it. We're going to start today on some of the exercises in the forearm. You know, the forearm is such a critical muscle group to work. It has our flexors, extensors. It's where we get our coordination from. If you're a golfer, as you know, this is what's going to stabilize your club head speed, and it's also important for your overall coordination. Now, I don't want you to overdo it today, particularly if you're new to exercise exercising with your tour grip gyro. So just follow along and watch the muscle man of technology as he shows you how to get the most from your wrist exercises. Now, right now I'm working my arm. Notice how on the gyro I'm just taking a gentle RPM. I'm not spinning it overly fast. I'm going at a medium speed. But what I want you to do is wind it up. Listen how I wind up the revs. I go a little bit faster. And then I want to fight the resistance, slowing it back down. And notice this is working all my forearms. You can see all the definition inside my forearms because I'm fighting it and it's pumping all that blood in there. And this is what's going to give you coordination and control. Remember, developing a muscle group is coordinating that muscle group. And that's going to mean terrific performance in all the sports that you're trying to achieve your goals in. Now, watch again as I speed it up and I fight it down. Oh, the burn is amazing. When you start doing this, you're really going to feel this and you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Now, there's also another technique I want to show you. I'm going to hold it in front of me like a lollipop and I'm going to spin it up again and I'm going to fight it down. You know, ideally, I want to try to keep this in the camera range for you so you can see, but this is basically what you want to do. Notice I'm not getting a whole lot of shoulder movement because I want to isolate. I want it all in my forearms. And guess what? By doing this, I'm getting my wrist, my forearm, I'm even getting a little bit of finger strength. And we're going to talk about finger strength in a minute. But remember, do not overdo it if you're new to it, okay? Try to do two to four reps. Remember, the forearms is a critical muscle group because that is where all your power is going to be generated from. Now, when you're doing biceps and triceps, try to keep the best full range of motion you can throughout the exercise. Now, we're going to start with triceps first. And again, you're going to take your tour grip, wind it up to a medium speed. And remember, when you're starting out, it's going to feel awkward. I'm going to get over here on the corner, and you're going to see I'm going to do like a tricep kickback. You may be familiar with this with the dumbbell. When you use the tour grip, it changes everything. Again, wind it up and wind it down. And you know, if you're having trouble, by the way, with your range of motion when you're kicking this out, which you may or may not, but I want to show you an alternate way that you can work your triceps, is that I'm going to come over here and notice I'm going to hold it straight out, do is keep it pointed down, and you can see how good the definition runs right through the tricep. You're also going to get a little bit of the extensors back here, but you will hit that tricep. Just hold it down and try to push that arm back, wind it up and wind it down. Now for biceps, it's a little bit more tricky because we're actually I'm actually going to come up over here and you're going to notice I'm holding it as if I was trying to make it flex in with my arm, but I'm not. I'm going to try to hold it straight out and I'm going to spin it up and you can see, I'm going to see if you can 
you can almost see the fibers on the top of my arm working. I almost have it on a 45 degree angle over my shoulder. And you can see the burn up here. This is actually moving the top part of my biceps brachialis. What a great burn this is. Do not overdo this. Start slow, you will build up to a conditioning. The tour grip is great for hitting the biceps and triceps, and I'm feeling that right now, I'll tell you. Woo, I've been doing this all day, and it's just absolutely a terrific pump. It really is. Now, while I have it out, a lot of people want to talk about finger grip strength, so I'm going to show you real briefly how to do the fingers. You place it on the top edge of the sphere, and by holding tightly, I'm going to wind it up very similar to the Powerball. Numerous golfers improve their game. So much so that the Dynaflex Gyro Exerciser has been awarded the PGA Partners Club Tested and Approved Seal of Approval. Hi, I'm Jerry James, Long Drive Champion, PGA of America member. Also, I've trained tour players all the way down to beginners. You want to get longer, you want to get quicker, you want to get faster, and there is no better tool to give you stability through impact to build forearm strength and range of motion than the tour grip.